we got ourselves a new power invisible providence and if you look about it if you look at it it's basically unseen hand so instead of you know subaru saying unseen palm unseen arm you know sneaky fingers he's like ah shit i need to come up with like a new copyright free name invisible providence sure it basically is unseen hand though i thought that the witch factor would then it was told that the witch factor is going to adapt to a person's personality and desires and somehow be different so i didn't really ex expect the same sort of power to happen but it was still hype regardless someone also mentioned i think that we're reaching here Maybe, but someone said, hey, remember what, you know, Sloth is associated with in the Shadow Garden scenes about how he couldn't, you know, wipe away Satala's tear? Well, the hand, it's, it's, it's a single hand and it's kind of useless other than just like wiping away the tear. I'm like, are you reaching right now? Or is Tape just playing into this right now? I'm not really sure. Apparently, Subaru's gate breaking has a very significance to the authorities and Tape, and not, not Tape, Subaru is not compatible with the Sloth Witch Factor, which may be the reason why he only has one hand. Or maybe it's a proficiency thing, I don't know. But hey, we got some new powers at the loss of Shamak and pretty much potential to use any other magic. The Garfield stuff, <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. I don't really give a fuck about the Garfield backstory. It was heartwarming, right? But I'm like, come on, let's, let's get to the main shit. What's Amelia up to? What is the pre-Frozen Bond memories? Hopefully we'll finally see it here. Let's begin today's reaction. When Puck found Amelia frozen, right? <laughs> because it took Puck this long to find her. That's right. And this now implies that Puck lost his memories due to that pact with Echidna where the punishment, sorry, oath, where the punishment was you interfere excessively, you will basically lose your meaning of why you exist, who you'll live for your memories. So my thought was, even in the movies, that like at this point, something happened where Puck excessively interfered too much. Amelia then was left alone and fucking, I don't know, uh, Ice Berserk. Everyone got frozen and now Puck has came back with the memories back is my interpretation. <laughs> oh, all those movie memories. No longer frozen, the Elior Forest. Sugoku. No, she don't care. Oh. Her dress is getting messy. <laughs> well, this is like a kid that's like dream reality marble domain. Like she getting bodied by her own fucking machinations, bro. The leaves are getting on her dress. Maybe. だとしたら朝はかだね。ただ心配しただけなのに。君の心配なんて一切不要だよ。夢に深く重なりすぎただけさ。夢に夢に夢に夢に夢に夢に夢に夢に夢に夢に夢に夢に夢に夢に夢に
<laughs> she, she tried to go in, but... All right, Emila's little house. We saw it in the movie. Mother Fortuna. Little Leah. She had a little plushie. Dude, Fortuna's... Yeah! God damn, Mother Fortuna. Oh, 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 little Emilia headband, bro. We need to get that headband back. Yeah, she's the biggest hater. She's the biggest Emilia hater. Pointy ear, right? Same eyes, same hair. Okay. And the most troll thing is how fucking <laughs> they never show Amelia's real parents either. So we have to have a proxy mom who basically just looks like Amelia's mom, right? If you just look at the features, but the silver hair comes from my brother. So Mother Fortuna is aunt. Her brother is Amelia's dad. Dad has silver hair, meaning he has potentially, he is the elf. But if you think about it, Mother Fortuna, I'm assuming, I don't know what she is. Is she an elf or is she a half-elf? Because if we assume that she's a half-elf, then dad is also a half-elf, implying that mom also needs to be a half-elf for the genetics math to make sense. If Mother Fortuna is an elf, then I guess dad is the elf, and then mom is regular or something. Wait, who else has mean eyes? Subaru does. Everyone in my family has mean eyes. Natsuki Subaru does too. Younger sister. Where are they? So troll, show me your parents. God damn, Mother Fortuna, your ass is just spectacular. What are you gonna do now? <laughs> She's so fucking cute. She got nothing to do. Little Leah, dude, what's she gonna do, bro? She got no Game Boy to play with. She got no internet. What's she gonna do, man? She got no iPads. She TikTok don't exist back then. Yeah. Who are you talking to, me? Oh, little spirits. Hello, lesser spirit. I'm already going to assume that the spirit is evil. This spirit is evil just like that red spirit that I thought was a good thing until I realized that it was Melaquera in Frozen Bond. Yep. Yep. I got baited once in the movie. I am not going to get baited again. Fuck you, blue spirit. Also, fairy is an evil spirit. You're right. We've heard the term fairy before from Subaru. And then Amelia said, that's like evil spirit. 100% evil. Evil. <laughs> she got so dirty. She got all messed up, bro. Yeah. Alright. They lied too, so I can lie too. Fuck it. Oh! <gasps> Amelia broke a promise. This is honestly some Subaru shit. Justifying in your head breaking promises, it is what it is. Hmm. <laughs> she making her own sound effects too, bro. Sneak, sneak. <laughs> More sound effects. More sound effects. This is cult member clothing, but they're normal. They all look happy and... I mean, they're not... They don't have the pointy. <laughs> so... I <laughs> Because, like, at some point, right? Because this is, like, about, like, a hundred-ish years ago or something from the main timeline, right? <laughs> they don't have the pointy hats, right? Something changed, right? <laughs> something changed, new leadership got into position, then they got the pointy hat, and then they started being all evil, right? There's a, there's, a, there's, a, there's a pattern of behavior here. When there was no pointy hat back then with the cult, they're all seemingly good. When they now, they're, up, they're updated fucking racist cult member, yeah, 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 that's what's going on. See? Not a single pointy hat in the hood. What is happening? Green hair. It's Kirito. And Kirito is Beatrix's voice actor. Oh my, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Bro, what's happening? Oh my god. 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 O
Also, yeah, it's funny that this is Kirito's voice actor, and Mother Fortuna is Asuna voice actor. But, like, what the hell happened to him? Dude! He, he's an Ikemen! He looks so handsome! Like... Then again, Goose is, uh... He's an evil spirit. And, uh, he, I think, possesses different bodies. I mean, I thought the green hair means that this, what we saw in Season 1, is this body, but aged many, many, many years. And that could still be the case. I I'm not really sure, but... Holy shit, he's hot. Sneak. <laughs> The seal. What's, what are you sealing? Sealing what? Seal? Okay, there's something interesting going on. My brother and... I could never face my brother and sister. But... Your brother and... Huh? Eh? <laughs> oh, we going, we going to Alabama. Yo, these elves are just keeping it in the family. I, I, I mean, sister-in-law maybe, but there's heavily implication. <laughs> but it, think about it. How could that be possible, right? How could it be possible that it's the brother and sister? If we think of the incest, no, it doesn't make sense because the brother is an elf. That means the sister must also be an elf. Then you can't make a half elf unless there's some more even funny drama happening and someone's fucking something else. But no, no, no. I, I think the sister in law and his wife. The seal. Mm. What's your goal here, bro? So it's like. The elves here are like receiving rations, it seems like. Some sort of like equipment supply. They live in the forest. The cult members show up and like give them supplies. What's the relationship? Hmm. Obsession and regret from what? What did you fuck up on? Sugoku. Also, this is Amelia's pin. <laughs> so whenever things go bad, I'm sure she gives this pin to Amelia, right? She must be. Hmm? Sounds like the cult members are... They located the elves in Elior Forest, and this isn't really where their origins are, but it's like a temporary residence? Right? To live in such an inconvenient place like this. And we forced all of you. Is it wrong to force all of you? So the cult. So the church is relocating the elves. Where were they before? Okay. Alright, Archie. And they all have, like, this golden sigil. I don't know if this is supposed to be the elf clan, or just, I'm just looking at this, you know, gold, purple, wing bird looking symbol. Forest and the seal. The seal is important. What are they sealing? Bye-bye. There's, like, very deep respect with the church and the elves. Maybe the obsessions and the regrets that Better Goose is talking about. Sorry, Juice is talking about. I wonder why his name is Juice here, rather than Better Goose. I don't know. I don't know. But Juice, right? Seems like the obsessions and the regrets relate to why the elves had to be relocated. Maybe the elves lived somewhere else, and then they were attacked for whatever reason, and then the church helped them out and relocated. And it's the church's fault that the elves were under attack. I don't know. So, I love how like all the other girls are also wearing like skirts or other clothes to like <laughs> Mother Fortuna is just ready to hit fucking legs bro She ready to go to the gym and just flex her glutes bro like I am not complaining about the design choice but like Thank you Sugoku they can't meet. They can't meet. A sinner. Why are you a sinner? 
fucked up. I don't know. Oh, this is so interesting. Unless everybody in church is considered a sinner and they're like, repent for your sins. Oh, Jesus Christ, Christianity. But there's a seal. There's an important seal. The elves are relocated into the forest. Betrigus is a sinner. And the church brings goods to the elves. And Betrigus is not allowed to see Amelia. <laughs> or at least he himself Roman won't let him allow. Oh, not an archbishop. Bishop. Not an archbishop, a bishop, because remember, back in these days, no pointy hat, right? But the arc was added when they got the pointy hat added to their new design. Sinners. We're sinners. We're all sinners. Right. Aww. <laughs> Yeah, the hundred years of Tormo where then he just He's like the main antagonist in Arc 3 and that is within the hundred years of Tormo. <laughs> yeah, it, it carried him a little bit too hard, bro. It way too much. This is some great content though. Holy shit. The pre-frozen bond memories, like so much answers we're getting, but also a lot more questions. <laughs> I can see that you're in very good shape. Beauty of the forest dwellers. Amelia, get back home! So, other than that, I guess their identity are forest dwellers, right? They don't really call themselves elves here. They're just forest dwellers. I don't know if that has any significance. But hey, Amelia, get back home. She's so messy. The evil spirit. Oh, I healed her. Oh, evil spirit helped us. The clothing, the clothes are all dirty. Oh, smart. Actually, pretty clever. Actually, really smart, man. Like, brilliant. Uh, for a child to come up with that excuse? Yeah. <laughs> Gonna hold this frame of Mother Fortuna's ass for a second while I uh, reset my earpods. You guys looking at that? Yeah, 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 yeah. She got that BBL. BBL elf. BBL force dweller. BBL mother. Mother BBL. Hmm? Why is she crying? There's something else going on beyond the scenes, right? Other than like them calling Amelia princess. I feel like these are tears of some sort of guilt or not being able to tell Amelia the truth because we have some hints of like, you know, Mother Fortuna, you liar. Everyone lied to me, you know, and, and Mother Fortuna was like, Amelia, you know, those lies, they're trying to protect you. So it must be coming from a place that <sighs> seal. Uh, princess, uh, secrets, church, uh, forest elves, oh, what's, what's going on? Yeah, you called Amelia a loose woman. I'm surprised you didn't make any comments about Fortuna's ass, Echidna. Okay. Yeah, just between us. Yeah, I think so too, right? Subaru? Something about Amelia is so different. Like, the whole conversation, the way she's handling it, Kidna looks honestly pissed off, even though she's, like, lashing out on Amelia. Amelia's just like, all right, whatever. Cool. You want to be friends? Uh, something post-kiss buff Amelia is so different. Like, she, not even just the pose last episode at the end, but everything about her. It just seems like Subaru has influenced her in a very positive way. Other than the thank you and her kidna getting pissed off. Remember what I said about the kiss? About like, yo, can we become an apostle? I think when we're talking about the apostle of greed, I'm like, yo, what if a kiss between Satala and Subaru happens and that's like apostle of envy? I mean, Amelia and Subaru kiss, but I don't think Amelia is really 
witch or anything, right? Last episode was kind of odd with the self-proclaimed witch's daughter. I am the... You know, it, it, that was kind of odd, but it's interesting to think about. So-called fairy. No, 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 that fairy is important. No, 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 a kid now mentioning the so-called fairy pretty much confirms that this fairy is super important. This is literally on that tier of like Melaquare deception. That fairy, evil, evil. You're giving it away too easy now, Echidna. Could be Pug. It could be Pug, you never know. But it's a lesser spirit though, it can't be Pug. I don't know. Yeah, what about, what is that seal? Hello little fairy again. I mean, so guilty. <laughs> Snacks? These are military rations. What the fuck? This, this is just shit that she was surviving off selling those fucking crystal shit back in the Frozen Bond movie. He's gonna give her nuts? Can I get some candy? Thank you. さ、落ち子来てる。いや。もっと楽しいこと隠してるとまた知ってば変なの。is she blushing? Goose and Mother Fortuna, they got something going on there, man. Archie, I'm sorry, you're not in the competition. Goose doesn't realize that he has raised her. Oh, oh, oh. He doesn't even know he's risen, bro. He literally doesn't even know what he's doing. It's working, though. Mm. Decades ago. How old is Juice, man? What the fuck? Emilia just shitting on them because the content is so boring. Emilia, come on. Something exciting happened. It's boring. Just talking. Archie getting strays. The seal again. Like, is it a seal for Satala? Is that what it is? Because the only seal I know is Satala. Timeline wise, this does make sense. Because Satala Great Calamity shit was 400 years ago. This is about 100 years ago. Seal, the only seal that's ever been mentioned is the Witch of Envy, right? But. What? Okay. Mom, Dad. Mr. Fairy, do you know where the seal is? Alright. Oh, when this soundtrack starts playing, it's not a good thing. <laughs> this, this is a bad soundtrack. This is, and, and stuff getting frozen. No, no longer forest. It's, it's getting frozen. Uh oh. Uh oh. Yo, Emilia, what are you doing? Seal? That looks like a seal to me. What a strange sight. Hmm. Seal for what? Huh? Now let's look at the seal. The design, there's no symbol that is making me just click immediately. I don't think I'm really familiar with anything. It's just a giant ass door. And yeah. Yeah, it is. Like, is there any, there's no designs that are similar to this shit, right? I, I'm not sure. A echidna saying how, like a echidna doesn't seem to even recognize it. What a, a door? What a strange sight. What a strange sight doesn't really imply that she knows or doesn't know. It's kind of ambiguous, but one could assume that she doesn't know. But I would think that a witch of... Gr I mean, she is very foreign to concepts, you know, beyond her times before the Great Calamity, right? This is beyond that. She doesn't even know what Archbishops were. So, like, yeah, it, it does make sense. But I thought that at the time of the sealing of the witch, 
maybe Echidna was still around just close enough to realize, but these different symbols, they don't really have much meaning to me. I can't really analyze anything else beyond the shapes. Now what? We're back out. <laughs> Eight grade, by the way. Fourteen year old kid. True. Like he doesn't even know what the so soon today, you can't even say granny. No, he has to say old hag. He has to say a more disrespectful way. That's right. What chance, little boy? Granny's little boy. Shima saved him. Roswell, maybe? What's he up to? We liberated. Is Shima gonna go away? What, 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 what? Something bad's gonna happen if we liberate it? Like, we're gonna lose Simo or some shit? She was looking, doing pretty bad. Alright. Back with the seal. What's going with the seal, man? What is this door? Huge. <laughs> well, actually, you would think it's funny because she's a toddler doing this, but Amelia has, like, superhuman strength, right? That is pretty much confirmed. But a lot more of these, you know... Lesser spirits around. And a key. Oh, there's a key. Clap, clap. Okay. The painter. That herself. Is she saying the different paint she's gonna color herself to make excuses? Yes? Something good or bad? Juice. <laughs> Amelia! Go on now, you're still poking out! <laughs> Hello, princess. It's Amelia, though. Juice is forbidden. To see her, right? <laughs> <laughs> no kafuruaru moment, but why? Why is it so emotional? Because he's a sinner. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> is he just the biggest lollicon? What is happening right now? I have to, like, he's in tears because Amelia is alive and well? <laughs> Salvation. <laughs> Why would Amelia be salvation? Let's think about this. Well, this is still the cult, right? And the Witch of Envy is sealed away. And the cult does not support any other witches other than the Witch of Envy. Assuming that Juice is... But this cult seems less radicalized, right? This cult seems way less radicalized. This, this seems like a normal fucking church. Back then... Maybe the movement was still to somehow bring back Sa I don't know. But there, there, if that seal has to do with Satala, Juice doesn't want that shit to break. But maybe it's like some meaning of life, like a proof that like... It, because they're for Satala and she looks just like Satala, this is salvation. I, I don't know. I don't know the future plans for little Amelia here, but... This fanatical, like, tears of joy, and he's a church member, witch cult, witch of envy, it must stem from those feelings from Satala. He's happy. He's so happy. Like, what? Is Amelia, like, proof that, what? 
Is Amelia really the reincarnation of Satala? I don't fucking know how this shit works, but uh, he's happy. He's overjoyed. <laughs> Oh, head pets. <laughs> no, I, I, I don't go with the whole theory that like people often quite say like Satala cannot be Amelia cannot be the reincarnation of Satala because she's still alive. I don't care about that. With the show like this, there's no way that that simple thing can prevent it from happening. It's immoral to fucking magic and bullshit. Why not fucking think about like partial reincarnation? Think about that. I don't know. There, there's no way that's possible. I'm not saying that Amelia is the reincarnation, but I don't think that like just because her body was never, her flesh was not destroyed and she got sealed away. I don't think that really means that like she can't be the reincarnation. But like, what could Amelia represent then? She's the princess, brother, sister. I don't know. It, it just feels like there's a connection with the Witch of Envy who got sealed away, and the, and the church is for the Witch of Envy. And Amelia showing up is almost like, oh my god, you're like. The, the witch that I worship, but in lolly form, and he's so happy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, last season. It's crazy, huh? <laughs> Filthy woman. Mm. That's right. The love letter. A kid in the hating. A kid that's only here for one thing, bro. The biggest hater. The most anti EMT. Like, you think that Rem fans, right? Rem stands who hate Amelia? Nah, bro. A kid that hates her more. Warm up round. This is warm up? Shit. <laughs> that was warm up. That was that was literally we could have just skipped all the fucking warm up week. Okay. I mean even the warm up stuff though, it was fascinating, right? The lore, better to use existing here, Mother Fortuna, the evil fairy, forest dwellers, seal. It is fascinating though. <laughs> この<笑><笑> difficult? If she could just jump right in her home, healthy and bathe in sunlight. I don't know. But hey, remember, what's happening right now? Slice of life. When slice of life happened, what does it usually mean? A life's about to get sliced. Let's be prepared. No <laughs> 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 It looks like his brain is trembling there. Oh, we're really slicing it up right now. Mother Fortuna and Juice feels like mom and dad. Oh, the Uno reverse card. Or something so fucked up is about to happen, bro. They're busting out the most slice of life soundtrack right now, too. Like... Get your guard up, because Echidna literally said that tr the, 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 the tutorial, okay? The tutorial is over and the real trial will start? Like, bro, no, get your guard up. I'm not buying this shit. The fairies. No, the fairies are real though. They're evil. The fairies show me the seal. Yeah. Aww. To that place. The seal. That's right. Don't break promises. More lore on why a promise is so important for Emilia. 
今度からちゃんと守るって。Promises are meant to be broken. ごめんなさい。母さんは。Just do pure. そうだろうならいいよ。それで、ジュースの方は。ジュースは crying harder than Amelia, bro. あまりにもまぶしすぎる光景で。涙を、涙をこらえられず。The one thing、uh, that's bad about this frame is the camera work. Come on, man. You, you could be showing me the cheeks right here. Come on. What are you doing? <laughs> mm -hmm. Evil spirits. Evil. Amelia's talented with it. どうやらエミリア様には精霊…精霊…精霊術師の天品エミリア様が妖精と呼ぶのは美精霊と結んで力を借りるものを精霊術師と私、それになれるの、うん、変なこと吹き込んじゃダメよエミリア様もいつまでも幼いま誰かがそばにいられなかった時彼らは力になって The lesser spirits are fucking dookie except for Ia. The lesser spirits, all they do is just hype Amelia. Yeah, you can do it, wow! And then the greater spirit that she fucking forms a contract with is a fucking deadbeat that does a 9 to 5 and fucks off for most of the time. It's Juice's fault. Amelia is a spirit art user. Mm. I mean, shit, it does seem like that, right? It's looking like there's mom and dad right there. I agree. Wait, 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 wait. I read that wrong. To one with a lifespan as long as mine. Even Fortune Sama's basically a child, which basically means that he's not a regular human. We already knew that Bitter Youth is like an evil spirit. Well, he is an evil spirit by the time in season one, but spirits, right? Biko is 400 years old, right? So, super, super old guy. Yeah, you're you you well. I mean, you're pretty much indirectly reporting that, like, you know, you, you do like him, and you don't want to be treated like a child because there's implications of love. Anyways, he is spamming Sugo. Come on. Dude, everything I want to know about the parents, we're never going to get this shit. We will never get this shit. Since when you're, well, we're well what? Mother and father were well... Oh, well what? Do they even live in this forest? Do the parents even live in this forest? I hope so. <laughs> Better not break that. What a happy ending, man. But yeah, this is pretty much set up. Like, like, this entire promise is gonna be broken by the time we get to the end of the, you know, the trial. Because like, we've seen the end of this. Kind of, you know? It's the scene where Fortuna is crying and Amelia is crying and saying, I'm so sorry for breaking these promises, these white lights. They're meant to protect you. It's like, clearly, that's just gonna happen because of this. <laughs> you think, yeah, you cry, baby. <laughs> Live echidna reaction. Where's the suffering? Where is the suffering? This little toddler, you loose woman. You think this is fucking fun? Oh. What's going? A man dripped in white? 
I know one person. You guys call me that I look like him. Who, who is this? Yo, is that, is that him right there? We got an Archbishop showing up? Who is this? The spirits are fucking off now. The spirits are gone. What is this soundtrack? Oh, this soundtrack is scary. Oh man, it's still... How? So he's not a regular human either? Of course not. Because this is like a hundred-ish years ago. What the fuck? He's just maintained this teenage youthful form the entire time? Regulus, Corneas. <laughs> oh lot he yapping. Oh lot he yapping, bro. Jesus Christ. Professional victim. Again, pro professional victim. All she did was ask, what's your name? And like, he's changing it to this. Like, <laughs> gender equality. Go on a whole session about gender, true gender equality. Toxic masculinity. What? You, you think that men can't fucking talk like me? But you, you think that only ladies can yell? <laughs> Say it. <laughs> See, so it's different though, right? Because, so, archbishops did exist back then. See, I thought they didn't for some reason, and archbishop title was created when the church got radicalized, because Goose is like a bishop, right? But I guess, so there's bishops existing, and there's also archbishops. Now, he's always wearing this different set of clothes, and Goose, I guess, didn't change. I guess it doesn't really matter, but what the hell? So the church was insane back then? I don't know, only certain people? Maybe there's like different factions of the church. I'm not sure how this works. Maybe the people that's with us right now is like the sloth faction, and then the sloth faction is actually good. I don't know. This is interesting though. Regulus. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that's today's episode. Oh man, that ending. I am more confused because I thought things were starting to make a little bit more sense of like, the identity of the church not being as radical as what we see in, you know, the past, you know, in, in the current timeline. And I thought that, oh, maybe the church is chill and then some turning point happened and everyone went fucking crazy. But Regulus is no different. Regulus is like literally the same Regulus that I've seen in the beginning of season two. Now, I've only seen a couple minutes of his screen time. We don't really know Regulus beyond the yapping and like him being a professional victim, but this is fascinating. I thought that the church would be different, but only Betrigus is different, and Regulus is not. They're still archbishops. Now, this stuff... The seal has to relate to Satala, right? Like, what other seal could it be, especially if it's Amelia's memories and we're working with elves? It must relate to Satala somehow. There are seemingly reasons as to why the elves relocated and became forest dwellers. I don't know why, but it may have to do with the uh, the obsession or regret that Juice, you know, declared to have in the earlier in the earlier scenes, talking to Mother Fortuna. Mom and Dad, mysterious as fuck, you know. But Dad is the elf, and Mom is not. Uh, what else do we know? The evil fairy? I, I, don't, I don't trust this fairy, especially because this fairy fucking brought us to the seal. And another very interesting thing is how Puck is not present, which means that my guess, my interpretation on when Puck found Amelia about him losing the memories due to the excessive interference and the oath punishment may not be true unless this is actually Puck. Unless these fairies, right? The evil fairy, maybe this is like a part of Puck, and therefore Puck was actually there. He already has an oath, which is then even more fascinating because Emilia doesn't even know who Puck is, and Puck already seemingly knows everything that has to do with Emilia. I don't know exactly why. I don't know. It's just... It's weird. It, 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 there, some things are making sense, but classic research situation where you get one answer and ten more problems or questions pop up, but one way to find out and that's the what's the next episode and that's it for me if you're still here though and if you enjoyed this reaction please like the video check out the other playlist for even more content and until next time take care